You can create a new proposal template by clicking the plus sign in the proposal column. Give your template a title that's okay for the client to see and then start adding elements from the menu. In addition to the standard text, images, and questions, the menu on a proposal includes special elements for HTML blocks, file uploaders, project tracking, and most importantly, packages. Building a proposal is a little different from building one of the other form types because there are two layers involved, design and function. The design is, of course, how the proposal looks with images, text, and columns. But the functional pieces are the package elements and form fields. A package element connects a specific package to a select button on your proposal template. You can create a new package template here or choose from one of the package templates you've already set up in your account from within the element itself or in the side panel. By default, the name and amount of the package will appear above the select button. If needed, you can add to or edit this text within the text box by clicking the pencil icon. When editing the package element, you will see package smart fields being displayed above the select button. These are the smart fields that are pulling in the package name and amount. We have a variety of additional package smart fields that can pull package information onto the proposal for you to display to the client, including the package total with or without the tax, or displaying the package item names and descriptions. You can also replace the select button with a different option by highlighting the select button and package details and using the backspace on your keyboard to delete the information. Now open the Smart Field menu from the toolbar. Within the dropdown, select a quantity box, a large checkbox, or the small checkbox to insert the new option. In some situations, you may want to remove a selection method altogether and then say yes for the pre-select option. Doing so will automatically add this package to the client's invoice when they submit the proposal without giving them the option of selecting or deselecting it. They would only need to click the submit button at the bottom. If you'd like more information about these settings, the upcoming videos for standard package proposals and custom package proposals will cover specific examples. In addition to the design capabilities that we covered in the previous unit on forms, there are also special elements that can be used on your proposal to add to the client experience. The HTML block element allows you to embed external content like videos from YouTube or Vimeo. If you are wanting to add further customization to your proposals in regards to styling, you can always add in custom CSS under the Form Styling tab. The File Uploader element provides a way for your client to upload files such as documents, spreadsheets, photos, or PDFs. There's a file size limit of 8 megabytes per file, but no limit on the amount of files that can be added. The project tracking element collects info about how this client found you and saves it inside the client's project. This may not be necessary on a proposal if you already gathered that information through a lead capture form earlier in the process. 
but it could come in handy with public proposals, which we will cover later in this lesson. Here's a tip. You can duplicate a package element. This is especially helpful if you've customized the text format for each package. Keep in mind that the text you display on the proposal is not what ultimately shows up on the client's invoice. That information is determined by the details inside the package template. 